I would like to take you through more advanced programming features of the stop clock. The base exposure sets the initial print time and all the programming sequences are based on this initial time. But that doesn't have to be so. If, for instance, in this main exposure of 16 seconds, you wish to dodge for 8 seconds, there's a way of achieving this. So first of all, you would set the time of 8 seconds and you go into your programming mode and then you would increase the time by 12 steps, which is a stop, which brings you to a burn-in time of 8 seconds and any subsequent manipulations you want based on 16 seconds, not the original 8. So that you've got 8 as a base, you have 8 as the burn-in and to tell it that you want all your manipulations based on 16 seconds you press the compensate button. The word base just flips up on the display and is indicated here. If you want to cancel that you turn it off the other way. It says burn or it says base. This now says that any subsequent programming steps are based on the combination of the base time plus this first incremental time. So storing that and moving on to the second step, if I now go up another 12 steps, which is a stop, it's going to put in 16 seconds. So that's telling you that it's putting 16 seconds on top of another 16. So that proves it's working. Once I've finished that, I can now clear it. So there's my base time of 8 seconds, and what it will do is it will print that first 8 seconds, and then the second step that will come up should be 8 seconds, which is the first of the burn-ins. In other words, it's a burn-in without the dodge card. And then the next one should be 16 seconds, which is the last of the steps. And you notice that the indicator that base has come off there, and so it will now do for 16 seconds. And that's a very simple way of doing dodging and burning, because basically a dodge is a burn-in with a hole. I'm going to stop that. Now, the other thing you can do with the programming mode is you can go in and edit what you've done. You don't have to clear and start again. So if I go into programming mode again, it now tells me that the first step was 8 seconds with a and it's a base exposure, and I can change that to whatever I like. So I can make that more modest. I can then go to the next step and reduce that as well. And I noticed that when I turned off the base exposure on the first one, that the time for the second step had automatically changed as well, proving that it's automatically calculated the ripple through effect of the other channels. And when I finish with that, I can press the exit button. And now, when I press the time the first time round, it'll do my first base exposure, and then a very modest burn-in exposure, and then another burn-in exposure. And if I want to clear out that exposure completely, I just press the clear button. And that takes me back to standard time. Another nice little feature of the programming function is when you do do a program and you're experimenting, when you start playing around with different amounts of additive exposure, you can actually print from within the programming function. And that helps you to get the print just the way you want it. And then when you can confirm that step, you can then move on to the next burn-in. And again, you can play with that one and when you've finished with all of that, and you've got it just the way you want it, you can come out and you can replay the sequence. 